At what point is this going to be ended? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed to be sacked after the Liverpool game. It didn't happen. We got no response. City happened two weeks later. Don't worry. We've got the international break. We've been working on it. Training's been good this week. 4-1 against Watford, a team that hasn't scored in four of their last five games. A team who is a relegation candidate, absolutely flooring Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to go, man. He needs to leave the board. Woodward, Arnold, you fucking idiots. The lot of you should have done this after City. We would have had two weeks to reorganise as a football club, to get a new coach in. But lo and behold, your egos block the decisions. The indecisions that are leading to that today. 4-1 against Watford. And just when you think Manchester United can't get any lower after Liverpool, after City, we go and do that against Watford. Away. That's it, mate. It's game, set, and match. It's done. Finito, in the ground, buried, six feet under. Any superlative you want to attach to that game, they're all completely correct about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. As Manchester United manager, I take zero, zero pleasure in saying this, but it, it's done. It's finito, man. Game over. Move on. Oh, it doesn't matter. Look, you can say, oh, we've got Villarreal in a couple of days. It'll be madness to do it now. I wouldn't know. It's not fucking madness to do it now. It's madness to keep him in. It's madness to keep this going. It's getting worse and worse and worse. We are a club spiraling downward. We are in a tailspin and we cannot control it. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer cannot control it. We are in utter disarray and chaos. And nothing is going to change now until Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is sacked as Manchester United manager and replaced. And we move on and move forward as a football club. A club that's got Cristiano Ronaldo, Jadon Sancho, Donny van der Beek, who was fantastic today when he came off the bench. And lo and behold, he should have started that game. And we're looking like relegation candidates, not Watford. Even De Gea saving two goddamn penalties can't save us in that game. There's, no, there's nothing else I can say in this match reaction that you haven't heard before. But the humiliation, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. United are just a wounded, wounded animal. But apparently, Solskjaer, no, not apparently. Solskjaer, after the City game, said we need to come out against Watford like a wounded animal. We were just like a... We were beheaded before the game even started, man. Where There's nothing... That, positives from that game. Let's quickly get them out of the way. Donny van der Beek, fantastic. His attitude in that game epitomised everything that we've been wanting to see from Manchester United players. I've never, ever seen a better attitude from someone who's facing adversity as a professional footballer than Donny van der Beek. Outstanding from him. Jadon Sancho in that second half, I thought he was fantastic. Jadon Sancho on the right-hand side with Donny van der Beek, I want to see that more often. And De Gea saving and two penalties, boom. And therein lies the positives. Harry Maguire, you are an embarrassment to the armband of Manchester United. Cupping your ears against Albania and then captaining Man United, getting sent off as we go and collapse 4-1 and concede our 14th goal in the last five Premier League games. Four to Leicester, five to Liverpool, four to Watford, two to City. Pop your ears to that, man. Jesus Christ. It, it, I, I don't get it. I don't get why he wasn't sacked after City. I know, I know exactly why he wasn't sacked after City. It's because the lack of decision, the lack of planning from our goddamn board and the ego of Woodward blocking it refusing to accept that his last big decision to give Solskjaer another contract was a mistake. He doesn't want that on his CV. I don't give a fuck about your CV, mate. I care about what I'm seeing at Man United and the humiliations that's getting worse and worse and worse. If you ask anybody that didn't watch football that one of those teams is relegation candidate, they would have all said Manchester United. Watford played us off the park and the fact that we collapsed with two goals there right at the end is just, it sums it all up. It sums it all up. And people might say, oh, now it would be madness to sack Solskjaer because we've got Villarreal in a couple of days and must win Champions League game. No, at this point, no. It, 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 we, we, have re we are sinking. We are the Titanic. We are split in half and we are freezing and there's no fucking wood to hold on to. That's what's happened with United at the moment. And there's no moving forward now with Solskjaer, man. If, if there was even a, and I didn't think there was, trust me, if, if there was even a slight iota, a slight hint, a whisper, that a turnaround could happen. It had to happen there today against Watford. Instead, we got played off the park in the first half. And it was a biz. Was it 2-0 at half time? Came out, Donny van der Beek changed it. 2-1, Kratfin to get a goal. Did that change anything? No, because Harry Maguire decided to get sent off with a ridiculous red card. Ridiculous. Losing possession in front of his own box and then just lunging in. Fucking hell, man. What are you doing? That's why Roy Keane was an angry with you. And that's why Roy Keane was right to have a go at you for that. Albania celebration. By the way, Solskjaer high-fiving Maguire when he got sent off. What was that about? But 
United didn't turn anything around today. Instead, we headed in the same direction and we're just free falling and going further and further. How much further do we have to fall under Solskjaer before the axe is wielded, before change is made? It can't go on any longer. We're delaying that. It's not the inevitable. It literally is a case of when and not if. So what are we waiting for? Seriously, what are we waiting for? We've had two weeks now. We've had four weeks, I think, since the Liverpool game now. And the plan should have been, if the plan should have already happened before then. But if the plans were only starting then, we've had ages, ages to start thinking about what's next. It has to change. We have to change. We can't let this team and squad with Ronaldo, Bruno, Pogba, Rashford, Greenwood, Sancho, Varane, Oh my God, there's so bad to beat. There's so much quality in that team. We can't let them just disappear. It's, like, well, it's probably the most talented Manchester United squad we've had in the best part of 10 years. And this is what's happening to it. Uh, we've actually got a negative goal difference now. We haven't kept a clean sheet. Two, what is it? 23 games, we kept like one or two clean sheets. It's getting worse and worse in every direction. If, if, that, was, if that was the product of a good week of training, then I don't want to see what comes next. I know what comes next. I already know how this film is. This film has ended. We're sitting there watching the reruns. It ended after Liverpool. And we just had rerun and rerun and rerun. And now Solskjaer's legacy is getting tarnished to hell. Really is. And as I said, I think the club hang, hung him out to dry because of their indecision to make, to make the necessary change as a decisive club to sack Solskjaer, to move on. And then we could have talked about some good that Solskjaer has done. Instead, we're witnessing this. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. We've got Villarreal next, and then we've got Chelsea away on Sunday. Maguire now suspended for that game. Hell, that might help United in the form that he is in. Varane's going to be injured for that game. Maybe we'll see Phil Jones come back in. That'll solve things, won't it? No, it fucking won't. It's, it's a, it's, there's nothing else I can say that you haven't already thought of yourself. Manchester United just need to sack Solskjaer and move on. Let's fucking draw a line in the sand now. As a club, for goodness sake, man, you just conceded four to Watford, who haven't scored in four of their last five games, who missed two penalties and still scored four against us. The organisation for the defensive, abysmal, midfield, Matic and McTominay. Hmm, who knew that was going to be crap? Every single person apart from Oligan Asolcha and his coaching team. There really are... Very little positives to take from that game. As I said, I focused on them. Van der Beek, yes. Sancho, yes. De Gea saving penalties, yes. <laughs> End it there. End it there. We are a club in free fall. All the players are reflective of that. People trying to trying to uh, drag players under the bus right now. They're, they're, the players are symbolic and symptomatic of what's happening at the club right now. And we can't go on any further. I know it would be chaos to try and sack a manager now because we've got Champions League in a couple of days, but I don't give a shit. I want it to happen. I want us to move on and move forward. It was chaos not to do it over the international break when we had two weeks because we knew this was going to happen. We all saw it. We all knew it was inevitable. Instead, the club did not act. And now we've had to witness that against Watford. It's, it's shambolic on the pitch. It's shambolic off the pitch to not be changing. Manchester United, start acting like, a, like the club that you are. And don't let individuals like Ed Woodward and their egos and their CVs block the fact that this decision has to be made. Somebody take some goddamn control. Take it out of their hands. Seriously, they can't make the decision that needs to be made. We're witnessing the club in absolute freefall with one of the most talented squads we've had in 10 years. And there's no turning it around now. After the last international break, we said, well, oh, look, we've got 10 games to turn it around. And then Leicester happened and we know what happened then. And then another international break came. And we said, no, Solskjaer is still going to be in his job. And they said, oh, look, maybe we'll turn around against Watford. And we lose 4-1 to relegation candidates Watford. Game, set, and match. The, we, the final nail in the coffin was a 3-1, and then the 4-1 happened. That's him getting buried in the ground. Just end it now, seriously. I don't know what to say anymore that you haven't already said or haven't already thought. And it's... It, it's... And now I'm starting to sound disrespectful and how vociferously I'm... I'm vocalizing the fact that Solskjaer needs to be sacked. I'm being forced into a corner as a fan. I'm being honest. We have heard and said he was being honest. I'm being honest after what I've witnessed. And I'm allowed to do that because this is my channel and I can say what the hell I goddamn want. Solskjaer needs to be sacked. United need to move on. The board need to pull their finger out and make the decision now. We should have made it after City. We should have made it after Liverpool. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. But for the love of God, 
Can we please make it now? Let me know what your... I mean, I know what your reaction is. Do you think Solskjaer can be or will be sacked before Villarreal? What would happen then? Is an interim coming in? I don't know what's next, but after what we've seen there today, after what we've seen against Leicester, after what we've seen against Villa, after what we've seen against City, after what we've seen against Liverpool, after what we've seen against Watford, Solskjaer needs to be sacked. End, end the conversation.